Good morning guys, this video is not going to go up for probably about a month A because I've got videos pre-filmed and B the reason for the pre-filming is because I have no Wi-Fi and I've just moved to Brighton so all the videos you've seen before now have been back in Bristol but today is Wednesday morning it's not Tuesday did I say Tuesday it's a Wednesday morning I moved in on Monday I've been here for two nights I'm not gonna do a room tour just yet because I'm still waiting on loads of things to arrive which leads me to explain what today's video is going to be I'm pretty much not gonna be leaving the house until seven o'clock as much as I would love to you know go grab a cup of coffee I'm meant to have loads of things being delivered today I really need to stay behind to get them because I'm also the only one in my house right now. I ordered a massive power lifty belt thing which is like quite a lot of dollar. It's an early Christmas present, don't worry. And I missed the delivery yesterday so I really want to get that today. I think I've got a sink plug, the toaster is being delivered. And then at 7 in the evening I'm going to the gym with all the powerlifty girls and I haven't seen them since the comp really. So that'll be fun. If you want to see what I do with my time, keep watching. If you've never met me before, hi my name's Alice, it's really great to meet you. I would love it if you liked and subscribed and enjoyed this video, that would be great. So I'm going into my second year of uni. When this goes up, hopefully uni will have started, hopefully, fingers crossed. Not too sure. I'll give you a, an update on uni life so far. Well, it's not uni life, it's um, living in a house by myself because no one else has moved in yet. I forgot to bring a lot of things. I forgot the entirety of my makeup collection, so my mother is going to post it to me. I also have misplaced my wok and my clothes error, which is ironic because the clothes error is something I said that you should get in my 15 things to bring to uni, and I forgot to bring mine. So I think what's gonna happen is my sister is gonna have mine. Also, I am wearing dungarees. These are my dungas. I love them. The story behind these, I didn't buy them of my own accord, mainly because over summer when I was at this churchy focus festival -y camp thing, one of the guys I was leading a group with wore these dungarees and me and the girl I was camping with could not stop like making fun of him in a friendly way I don't want to say the word banter but it was banter and like they grew on us by the end of the week we really started to like them but I was like I can't buy them just because the amount of jokes that Lily will make but then my mum bought these from eBay they didn't have any buttonholes and this strap went down to like here they were too small for my mum they kind of fitted Grace except they were too high up on her legs my sister so she didn't want them so then it went down to me and they do not fit me in the way at all if I took the straps down they would just fall off but that's what the straps are there for so now they're mine and I didn't actually have to pay for them so my mum like sewed this all up put some buttonholes in let me get up and do a full ta -da, ta -da. I feel like I should be in the Hannibal Town movie you know when she's not used to being on the farm and she's like feeding the chickens I feel like this is my day around the house clothes it's not quite pajamas but I still wouldn't wear it in public so Oh, it's not that early. It's 20 to 9. My body has been waking me up at like between 7 and 8 o'clock in the morning every single day for the past three weeks. I like like a long time. I've been listening to the Brat soundtrack because I watched that movie last night with Lily. Lily came over. <laughs> In case you're curious, I have showered this morning. I showered before I got dressed, so. Okie doke, kettle is boiled and I'm about to try some new coffee because I always need some kind of flavoring in my coffee to make me like it, like caramel flavoring or something. I went to Focus again, the church camp thing I mentioned, and all we had was just black coffee every morning and so I put a little bit of sugar in, a little bit of milk, and that was that and it tasted so bad but then I ended up loving the taste of it. So I bought this, so basically it's instant coffee that's already flavoured. Four flavours for £10 including delivery. And this is cookie dough and I haven't opened it and I'm really scared but I'm also really excited because cookie dough and coffee. Each scoop is two calories per cup which is incredible for me if I ever, I don't know if I will, if I ever start tracking macros again. I will take you on this journey with me. I'll do one big one and like an extra little bit and then maybe I'll put a little bit of milk in at the top. I'm also debating kind of like prepping some kind of lunches. When I say that, I literally mean, should I make oats today? I've got a big pack of chicken breasts in there. I've got some parsnips. Knowing me, I'll just forget to use them. So why don't I just use today to like 
cook them. Oh, that'll make me feel so productive, won't it? This is the bin currently because we don't have a bin. Okie doke, update, it is half nine. I have peeled and chopped up all of the lip parsnips and they are currently on a baking tray with oil, salt and pepper on them. So what I'm gonna do whilst I make the oven to heat up is prep oats and then because the parsnips take like 40 minutes and I think chicken in the oven will only take like 30 or 25. I've kind of forgotten what I put in my oats. Honey is definitely one of them. Chia seeds and oats is another and then I've got a pack of frozen strawberries and what else did I used to put in? Milk, milk and yogurt. I forgot about the yogurt. Okay, so I need my weighing scales for this. This is uh, totally our Alice's league. She does not know what she's doing. And also I don't have any scissors down here, so everything gets done with a knife. Why do I keep overfilling my oats? These two can go back in the fridge. And the oven still doesn't say it's up to temperature. Oats are done. Now I just need to mix it all together, obviously. This is the only thing I'll say about the kitchen. Cupboard space is incredible. We have so many cupboards, it's amazing. But surface space, not so much. I wouldn't exactly call this meal prep. I use these as snacks and sometimes I even use them as desserts. It's a good snack. Yeah, um, verdict on this coffee, not the best. Definitely caramel is better. And also I don't have a microwave to reheat this and I'm just drinking cold coffee. It's damp, it's damp. I am just cooking because I'm bored and I'm trying to waste time whilst things get delivered. And if nothing gets delivered today, I will absolutely kick off because I could have been out doing stuff with my life. I'll show you when something interesting happens. Maybe, maybe. Ah! Chicken's going in. Oh, she's hot. I spat everywhere. Guess what I've just realized? Our doorbell doesn't work. I've got two packages so far when I've been in the kitchen and someone's knocked on the door. There's no way I would have heard that from upstairs. I've just had to bring my book down here and I'm just gonna have to sit downstairs for the entire time. Look at these beautiful parsnips. The chicken's just come out. So I put them in for an extra five minutes. I'm gonna take these two out and probably put that one back in for a bit. This is my SBD belt, so everything in this package is like an early Christmas present from my parents. If you don't know, if you've never seen my videos before, I do powerlifting and there's a lot of like, not equipment that you need, but clothes and a belt, basically. Basically, my last competition in June, everything I wore was borrowed from other people. And so I quite like to have my own stuff. And so this is all an early Christmas present because it's all kind of expensive, so. I got an SVD t-shirt. I got deadlift socks because last time I borrowed Lydia's deadlift socks and t-shirt. And... I'm just gonna leave it like this so it can learn to bend. Lydia has very kindly and generously given me her squat shoes and her old singlet, but I was borrowing a t-shirt, socks, and her belt. Like we were swapping in and out of using the belt. Having my own stuff is so lovely. It makes me feel like I'm actually a powerlifter now rather than just like cheating and using everyone else's. It is 12 o'clock. And I've got another parcel. I don't know what this one is. Oh, these are the right ones. My mum bought me fairy lights to go around my room. Oh, this is so exciting. But she accidentally bought 10 meter ones. But this is the three meter ones that she ordered. I'm reading Spyglass. I'm on page 84. And I started it yesterday. So I'm just going to keep doing that, really. Do you guys want to know what I've realised? My heating has been off this entire time. I was like, hmm, I'm a wee bit chilly. Why are none of the radiators working? And then I was like, oh, maybe it's just my room. And then I've gone down and touched every radiator and none of them are on. Turns out it was off. Because I didn't have my lunch earlier when I should have, I forgot I had no microwave to heat up my chicken and parsnips. So I'm having cold chicken and parsnips, <sighs> which I really don't want. Food is fuel and I can't live off of cookie crisp. So here I am waiting for the heating to cook in. Eating cold chicken. Fun, fun, fun. So that was absolutely disgusting. I only ate about half because if I ate any more than that, it would put me off with that chicken and parsnips for the rest of my life. I'm back with oats that should be overnight and I really shouldn't eat till tomorrow, but like I need food even if I don't want it and this is meant to be cold. So yeah, pretty much. It's five to one. It definitely needs more time to absorb, but it's definitely better than cold rubbery chicken. So 
I've got another puzzle. Hey, it's the toaster and the plug. We now have a toaster. <laughs> it's the microwave. Oh, thank goodness. How do I go about this? Also, when I was signing for it, it didn't cross on the T, so I hope that goes through correctly. <gasps> this is when I can whip out my dad's like, one of the weird things that has loads of like bits in it. But it's not a pen knife, but it has a knife. Knives. I know. Ta da! We have kitchen appliances. How fun! Ah! Oh, yes, mate. Okay, oh, pff, I just hit my head on this. Also, no one knows how to turn this on. It's oh, a mystery. It is three o'clock. I think I'm just gonna have pizza tonight. I'm really, I'm just not hungry. Like, like I'm hungry, but I just don't want food. All righty, so it's half four. Basically what happened is somebody came to my house to cork up one of the bathroom. Luckily it's not the one I'm using. He's gonna come back tomorrow to paint the bathroom. He tried to come yesterday, but his key, we have like multiple locks and it didn't work for the right one. But he figured it out now. So downstairs reading my book all day. I'm still not back in that like reading hype but I hope I will be soon. Mainly because I've tried to stop buying books on Amazon to save money. Bought another plug because the plug didn't work. I finished Spyglass. I'm just gonna go upstairs and chill and hope no more packages arrive. And maybe put the TV on. I don't have an aerial cable. Oh, I need to order an aerial cable. Ugh. If you are ever in Aldi, please get these. I know that there are other brands that do the same thing. They're like orange, the waves, but they look like small Pringles. They are incredible, please. Buy them, buy them, please. Thank you. Hey guys, so I'm back from the gym now. It is like nearly 10 o'clock. I was in the gym for over three hours. I was done after about an hour and a half, but I had no reason to come home early, so I just stayed and chatted to my friends. I didn't really see the point in me like coming home early for, for any reason, so I just stayed and chatted to everyone, which was fun. I would like to show you my creation. Ta-da! Look at that beauty. So this is obviously gonna be part of my room tour, but I just wanted to show you that I'm proud of my handiwork. They are perfect for what I want them to be. And and they fill up that wall and they're beautiful and yeah please come on hooks please stay in place thank you because it's going to be a while until i get my bedside lamp so this will be lovely in the meantime i hope you enjoyed this video of just me trying to organize my room getting deliveries food prepping that felt like ages ago if you like this please like and subscribe that'd be great oh uh, yeah so that's all for me for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna love you and leave you i hope you all had an amazing day and i will see you hopefully next monday with another video bye